Hey guys, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Um, I got a special request to actually read to you guys. So I pulled up a picture book that I have at home. It's called Science First. It's written by John Seska and Lane Smith. So you can either read along on the screen because the pages will appear for you, or you can just close your eyes and listen to some of the silly science rhymes that we're going to be going over today. On Wednesday in science class, Mr. Newton says, you know, if you listen closely enough, you can hear the poetry of science in everything. And I listen closely. On Thursday, I start hearing the poetry. In fact, I start hearing everything as a science poem. Mr. Newton has zapped me with the curse of science verse. Evolution. Glory, glory, evolution. Darwin found us a solution. Your mama is that shape and your knuckles always scrape because grandpa was an ape. Water cycle. It's raining, it's pouring, for H2O it's boring. Precipitation, evaporation, precipitation, evaporation, precipitation, evaporation, evening, night, and morning. Lovely. I think that I ain't ever seen a poem as ugly as a spleen, a poem that could make you shiver like 3.5 pounds of liver, a poem to make you lose your lunch, tie your intestines in a bunch, a poem all gray, wet and swollen like a stomach or a colon, something like your kidney, lung, pancreas, bladder, even tongue. Why are you turning green, good buddy? It's just human body study. Twink. Twinkle less, twinkle less, spot of black in the starry zodiac sucking in all matter and light turning sunshine into night twinkle less twinkle less lost control now we're trapped down the black hole dinosaur once in first grade i was napping when i heard a scary yapping frightful word worse than a slapping worse than 20 t-rex roars Said our teacher heartless creature my class you know always explores 10 full weeks of Dinosaurs, pterodactyl, stegosaurus, on and on the same old chorus, elementary stuff to bore us. No more, we beg, she ignores. Yes, she smiles, they were reptiles and locks the windows, bolts the doors. Don't you just love dinosaurs? Every year, the scene repeated, third grade, fourth grade, we were greeted with that torture just completed. Yes, we've heard of carnivores. Still, the teachers changed no features still spoke those words that gave brain sores. This year's topic, dinosaurs. It's still a mystery science to say why the dinosaurs went away. And I know where they couldn't stay and it wasn't meteors. It was creatures, yes, those teachers who did the work of 50 wars and bored to death, dinosaurs. Food chain. I've been working in the food chain all the live long day. In the middle of the food chain, I've got no time to play. Can't you see the green plants growing? That's energy, okay? Consumer eats up the producer, predators eat prey. Who's for lunch today? Who's for lunch today? Don't you just wonder who's for lunch today? Predator or prey, predator or prey, eat or be eaten. That's the only way. Gobble gookie. Twas fruit coats. And the vitamins did zinc and dye, red number eight. All poly were the thiamins and the carbohydrate. Beware the gobbledygook, my son, the flavorings, the added C. Beware the serving size and shun the dreaded BHT. And as in folic thought I stood, the gobbledygook with eyes nitrate came gluten through the dextrose wood. It extracts carbonate. Oh, can you slay the gobbledygook on polysaturated boy? 3,000 calories don't look, the sugar's fats, oh, soy. Plus fructose and the vitamins did zinc and dye, red number eight. All polys were the thiophens and the carbohydrate. Why scientists don't write nursery rhymes? Mary had a, well, Mary had a little worm. She thought it was a chigger, but everything that Mary ate only made it bigger. It came with her to school one day and gave the kids a fright, especially when the teacher said, now that's a parasite. Hey diddle diddle. Hey diddle diddle, what kind of riddle is this nature of light? Sometimes it's a wave, other times a particle, but which answer will be marked right? Jack be nimble. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the combustion reaction of oxygen plus heat plus fuel form carbon dioxide. 
light plus heat plus exhaust. Good night. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug tick or louse. Suck blood from you, hatch its eggs, and then develop the larvae on you. All right. Scientific method at the bat. The outlook wasn't brilliant for my experiment that day. The only way to graduate was to come up with an A. So when my lab exploded and turned to blackish gunk, my chance of passing anything went titanic, you know, sunk. I sat and sadly watched the clock curse to be alive. It would take a miracle, no, make that two, to get me to grade five. Then I had a brainstorm and idea so terrific. I just had to use those words from the method scientific. I grab my pen and get to work. You should see my look. I slowly write hypothesis observation in my book. And now the class bell rings and now I lose or win. With one mighty plop, I hand my lab book in. Oh, somewhere in some science class, hypotheses are made, experiments are conducted, kids move up a grade. Some conclusions were, are concluded without a bit of doubt, but there's no joy in this lab. My results got me flunked out. Skeletal study. There once was a man of science, not one of your mental giants. He decided to settle the question, does metal fix an electric appliance? You're it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. catch a virus, watch it grow. Once it's got you, it won't go. Eeny, meeny, my, oh no. Mini ha ha, or the atomic joke is on you. From the shining big sea water to the green trees, Near Gitch Glumly, everything is made of atoms, tiny things that you cannot see. Though I have just one small question, and I don't just ask them to blame them. Scientists can't see these things, so how the heck do they name, can they name them? Nucleus, they call the center, made of parts that they call protons. And more itty bitty pieces, go ahead and call them neutrons. Flavored quarks, electrons, bisons, things that could hardly get more doofy. I say we think of our own names, but let's make this a little goofy. <laughs> let's call the proton Wawa, the electrons Manomina. Call the neutron the Minoa. Who will know? They're so teeny. Yes. Then let us call the atom something like Hiawatha. That'll be our really small joke. That will be our Miminhaha. What's the matter? Miss Lucy had some matter. She didn't know its state. She only had three guesses. She tried to get it straight. She thought it could be a liquid, quite possibly a gas. And if it wasn't a solid, well, call me sassafras. Miss Lucy called the plumber. Miss Lucy called the cop. Miss Lucy called the egghead with the perfectly bald spot. Liquid, said the plumber. Solid, said the cop. Gas, said the egghead. With a perfectly bald, perfectly bald, perfectly bald. Top, top, top. The Senseless Lab of Professor Revere. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of how loud noises go in your ear. And look, my youngsters, bright lights will be the way you figure out how you see. And feel, my students, is that too much? With gopher guts, you learn about touch and chew, my kitties. Oh, what a waste that frog-eyed stew was for you to taste. And sniff, my scientists, ain't it just swell how 10-year-old cheese demonstrates smell? So those are your senses. Class is done next week. Diseases, won't that be fun? Amoeba. Don't ever tease a wee amoeba by calling him or her amoeba. And don't call her a he amoeba or never he a she amoeba because whether she or him or hers amoeba, they too feel like you and me amoebas. Changes. I'm a little mealworm, short and squiggly. Here's my antenna, cute and jiggly. Now I am a pupa, squat and white. How did this happen? I'm a sight. Now I am a beta, what is this? I really hate all of this. Twas the night. Twas the night before anything and all through deep space. Nothing existed, time, matter, or place. No stockings, no chimneys. It was hotter than hot. Everything was compressed in one very dense dot. When out of the nothing there appeared with a clatter, a fat guy with reindeer and something the matter. His nose was all runny. He gave a sick hack. Oh, Dasher, oh, Dancer, I can't hold it back. He huffed and snuffed and sneezed one. Ah, chew! 
then like 10 jillion volcanoes, the universe blew. That dense dot exploded, spewing out stars, Earth, Venus, Jupiter, Uranus, and Mars, helium, nitrogen, the mountains and seas, the chick and the eggs, the birds and the bees. Yesterday's newspaper, tomorrow's burnt toast, protons and neutrons, your grandma's pork roast. The universe expanded, the guy said with the wheeze. Who will ever believe the world started by a sneeze? So let's call it something much grander. Merry Big Bang to all and to all, Gesundheit. Astronaut stopping by a planet on a snowy evening. Which world this is, I do not know. It's in our solar system though. I'm thinking that it might be Mars because it has that reddish glow. But you know, it could be Venus. And if that's true, then just between us, it might be wise to leave before any locals might have seen us. Could be Pluto, might be Neptune. Don't they both have more than one moon? I'm running out of oxygen. I better figure this out soon. Yes, space is lovely, dark and deep. For one mistake, I know do weep. In science class, I was asleep. In science class, I was asleep. Asleep, asleep. It's science class, I am asleep. Whack, goes Mr. Newton's pointer on the blackboard. And that, my scientist, is the solar system. Test tomorrow on the planets. Class dismissed. Awake, awake. I'm awake. I'm thinking in regular sentences. I'm not rhyming anymore. I'm, cur I'm cured of my science verse. The universe is beautiful, and life is just great. Until our class, when Mr. Picasso says, do not think of this as a little art project, your art project must be your whole life. And that, everybody, is Science First. Hope you enjoyed the picture book today. If you've got any recommendations, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you and your family stay safe and have a great day.